Hello. Um, first of all, apologies for the audio quality. It's the built-in mic on the webcam, uh, not an external funky one that I normally use. That's because the webcam is plugged into a laptop because this particular tip only works on laptops. Um, so without any further ado, uh, if you um, want to improve the life of your laptop and um, reduce the chance of you doing inadvertent damage to it, then um, this tip is for you. I've fixed an awful lot of in my time and the kind of damage that I see falls into some fairly distinct categories and they're all connected to this particular um, default setting largely. I would say about 80% of all the damage that I see on laptops is actually um, avoidable by um, doing this. So um, yeah. Let's get on with it. Uh, laptops are quite power um, orientated because of batteries and being away from the mains. So they have a power setting in the bottom right of the screen. So on your laptop, right click on that little power button, normally it's a battery, uh, and click power options. And on the power options, it doesn't matter what plans are displayed, it's the one you're currently using. Um, this is a Dell, so Dell's got its own plan and Dell messes around quite a lot with the power management settings. So they deviate quite significantly from um, what you would see on a desktop or uh, on uh, a laptop that's using more the sort of general Windows ones. But it doesn't matter. Whatever plan you're using, click change plan settings. Then you want to click change advanced power settings. And then you want to look for the setting and it will be there. Look for the setting that says power buttons and lid. Expand that and you'll see lid close action. What you want to change on battery to is do nothing and plugged in, do nothing. Then click apply, then click okay. What I then tend to do, what I like to do is I like to just change one of those so that the save thing pops up and I just click save. That's just me being a bit you know, weird about computers. So, um, and close that. Now, that's it. That's what you need to do. And this is why. So if you um, are using your laptop in a particular room in the house and someone comes in and does something, puts a telly on or whatever, and you feel the need to move, um, you pick up your laptop and you walk out the room. Now, subconsciously, you are uh, aware that if you close the lid, it will sleep. And you know instinctively that putting it into sleep mode is annoying because it takes time to go into sleep mode and then it takes time to wake up again. So if you're being interrupted and you have to move, you are more likely to just leave the lid open, pick the laptop up and walk out the room with it. But how do you hold it when you do that? You normally grab it from one of the corners next to the touchpad, either the left one or the right one, because chances are you've got something else in your other hand. Plus you'll need that other hand to open doors. So you're going to hold it in one hand from one corner. And that puts stresses on the chassis. Now, if you've got like an X1 or something like that, a Lenovo Carbon X1, uh, yeah, one and a half grand's worth of actual brilliance, then the frame on that is actually metal alloy, so it isn't going to flex. That's not an issue. But the further down the price range you go, and when you start to get to the, you know, when you arrive at the 300 quid laptops, they're all plastic. The outer shell is plastic. So when you pick it up from the corner, it flexes, it twists, it moves. Screws actually work their way loose. Hard drives move around. That's where the damage comes from. Also, because you're holding it from one edge and it's sort of swinging about and balancing, you knock it into things. You bump things, you bump door posts, you bump doors, you catch it on the stairs on the way up. Or when you put it down, if you put it down on a hard surface, you drop it slightly, the end just bashes. All these sort of impacts and stresses all reduce the life of your laptop. So wouldn't it be great if you could just close the lid, tuck it under your arm and walk off with it. Because now you can. With that one setting, 
you are now able to just close the lid, walk out the room, open the lid and resume. Because closing the lid now doesn't make it sleep. It makes it just turn off the screen so that when you open it again, the screen's back on. So you can close the lid, walk out the room, put it down, open the lid and there's no interruption, nothing at all. And you haven't got the precarious balancing act of carrying it around. Any, any questions, any comments, um, stick them in the comments. I hope this improves the, um, the lifespan of your laptop. Um, I'm absolutely positive it will do. Um, liking and subscribing is um, also really encouraged. I need to get a thousand subscribers before Google throw me a bone. Um, so that'd be helpful too. Um, and all, you know, as always, thanks for watching.